Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor be to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakaha Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, better known as GMS, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the tabernacle of David. I'm your brother, Matizat Bath, and um, just wanted to do a quick uh, video response to this bug out um, who goes by the YouTube handle at Raw Empirical Truth. And um, I wanted to use this comment uh, just for edification purposes um, as to why we don't go back and forth on a comment board. Now, I've done a lesson about 24 hours ago addressing some of the things that he stated in his original comment. And so I just wanted to sh uh, share uh, this last comment before he got blocked uh, to use sincere Akiam and Akwathiam. So he posted up asking or rather saying, OK, number one, I don't know where the idea comes from that the first comment someone makes to you must suspend all further dialogue about any other points or subjects. If you deem their first comment to be an error, this is an absolutely absurd policy and is antithetical to the search for the truth. Now, what this individual doesn't understand when we deal with scriptures, all right? First and foremost, let's get Amos 3 and 3, which says, can two walk together except they be agreed? And the answer to that is, no, they cannot. If we already don't agree on the same subject, there's no point of further dialogue because it's just going to lead to further confusion. Right now, with that being said, let's get um, let's see if I have it pulled up here. Actually, I don't. So let's quickly go to Second Timothy. All right. Two. And let's start around verse 23, which says, but foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes. That's the reason why I stated earlier in the previous lesson that I'd done that you were in error. And if you took the time, as it says here in verse 15, Second Timothy 2 15 study to show thyself approved unto the most high a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth you had an opportunity to came to come into this wise counsel and to learn all right as the scripture says let's get ecclesiastes the fifth chapter and the first verse which says keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the most high which the scripture says where two or three are gathered in my name i am in the midst of them right and it goes on to say, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. And be not rash with thy mouth and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the most high for the most high is in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore, let thy words be few. Right. And so. Moving on from there. First Corinthians three and 18 says, let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem it to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. OK, and that's what you tried to do using all big words, talking about that's absolutely absurd policy and unethical to the search of the truth. You're coming from a worldly point of view. We're not coming from a worldly uh, point of view. We're coming from the scriptures. OK, it goes on to say. First Corinthians three nineteen for the wisdom of this world is foolishness with the most high for it is written. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. All right. And so at the end of the day, um, the, the scriptures is plain where it, it even says, let's get that in Daniel 12. All right. Daniel chapter 12 and right around. Verse 10, it says, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. All right. 
And if it's not given unto you to understand, then that's something that you have to take up between you, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Now, he goes on to say, what if the person's first comment is some parts of the Bible say Hamashiach was on a cross. Other parts say he was hung from a tree. Now, imagine you disagree with that and they turn and they in turn disagree back. You're telling that no more points can be made until that detail is resolved. Come on, man, that's absurd. And now you're putting words into my mouth, which shows the bitterness that you are coming with because you have a problem of me correcting you. And that's fine because the scripture says, all right, let's get the what's that? Let me just type it in. All right. In Proverbs. Proverbs 27 and 5 says open rebuke is better than secret love, man. And that's the problem with Jake. You know, when you get corrected based off your worldly knowledge in comparison to what the scripture says, you have a fucking problem. You know, that's why the scripture says um, in Hosea 4 and 6. All right, let's grab that if we can. All right, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou sh shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten thy law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. Now, when you deal with the whole Hamashiach dying on a tree or a cross, this is Acts 5 and 29, which this was very simple. It's a simple uh, breakdown to understand. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey the most high rather than men. The most high of our fathers, Yahweh, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Now, in the Greek, when you look it up. Okay, let's listen. Strong's G 3586, Xulon, Xulon. Now, it says here, Sulan and the Strong's info from another form of a base, Strong's G3582, which is timber as fuel or material by implication, a stick, club or tree or other wooden article or substance. Right. Outline biblical use says wood, that which is made of wood as a beam from which anyone is suspended, a gibbet, a cross. Right. A log or timber with holes in which the feet, hands, necks of prisoners were inserted and fastened with thongs. A fetter or shackle for the feet, a cudgel, stick, staff, a tree. Now, when you look up a gibbet. All right. It says here a gibbet is any instrument of public execution. Gibbeting is the use of a uh, gallows type structure from which the dead or dying bodies of criminals were hanged on public display to deter other existing or potential criminals. Occasionally, the gibbet was also used as a method of execution with the criminal being left to die of exposure, thirst and or starvation. The practice of placing a criminal on display with a gibbet is called hanging in chains. Now, if you see here in the picture, if we can open it up. OK. There you go. Look at the picture. All right. Looks like a plank of wood. All right. Nailed together. Right. So it's very, it's very simple. Right. Now. Another example that we have here, when you go into the cross, for instance, Matthew 27 and 32. Uh, actually, no, let's get a uh, verse 40, Matthew 27, 40 and saying thou that destroys the temple and buildest it in three days. Save thyself. If thou be the son of the most high, come down from the cross. So now let's look up the word cross in the Greek. Okay. And let's take a listen. Strong's G 4716. Staras. Staras. It says staras. All right. A stake or post. As set up right, i.e. specially a pole or a cross as an instrument of capital punishment, figuratively exposure to death, which goes back to a gibbet, i.e. self-denial by implication, the atonement of Hamashiach, the cross. 
outline biblical uses says a cross, a well-known instrument of most cruel and ignominious, if I pronounce that correctly, Salakia, punishment borrowed by the Greeks and Romans from the Phoenicians to it were affixed among the Romans down to the time of the uh, Constantine the Great, the guiltiest criminals, particularly the basest slaves, robbers, the authors and abettors of uh, insurrections and occasionally in the provinces at the uh, arbitrary pleasure of the governors, upright and peaceable men also, and even Roman citizens themselves. It says the crucifixion which Hamashiach underwent an upright stake, especially a pointed one used as such in fences or palisades. OK, and ultimately, when you go further into it. I have pulled up here going into the uh, crucifixion of Hamashiach. All right. As you can see there in the background. All right. Looks like a plank of wood. All right. Which where's the wood come from? Tree. Ancient Greek has two verbs for crucify. Anastaro from staros which in modern greek only means cross but which in antiquity was used for any kind of wooden pole right or pointed or blunt bare or with attachments it says here uh crucify on a plank together with that greek word impale in earlier pre-roman greek text anastaro usually means impale all right that's what it's talking about. So he was hanged. All right. Or fastened or to fix on a tree. That's all it's saying, man, you know, but you can you can go further into that. Right. Then he goes on and says. What if their next comment was I have smoking gun proof that the Bible and all its derivative uh, der derivations and all books contained therein were written by AI question mark. You wouldn't want to see this smoking gun proof. I imagine it would greatly supersede their first comment. So why are you doing an entire live show about my first comment when I have stockpile of ammunition? Well, this is why, because the scriptures actually says, all right, this is Psalm 68 and 11, just to debunk what you just brought out. The Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai gave the word. Wasn't no damn AI technology. Great was the company of those that published it. All right. So those whom Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah had chosen, okay, specific men, all right, through the Rakakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit, all right, he uh risen up to bring forth the word. All right. And the proof of that, let's get second Peter chapter one. We'll start at verse 20. The main point is at verse 21. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any pri private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. All right. Which that's a cut because AI technology comes from what man. All right. Scientists coming together, putting things together. Technology increases every decades. Right. But holy men of the most high. Yahweh Shah spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. OK. And what is the what is the uh, the, the that spirit? Let's get um, wisdom of Solomon. Chapter seven, verses 24 and 25, it says, for wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness, for she is the breath of the power of the most high. And a pure influence flowing from the glory of the almighty, therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. So you just cut yourself right there because that same Holy Spirit, the Rakakwadash, that moved those men is the breath and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not from no goddamn AI technology machine. All right. So the word came from the heavenly father through his son, Yahweh Shai, and it was sent to holy men. And those holy men are to do what? Let's get second Timothy again. Going back to the second chapter, verse two. It says in these in the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So don't get mad at me because you wasn't able to get the full understanding. All right. Like the beloved elder apostle Tahar always says, if you can't get it, you must not be of the elect. It's simple as that. Right. So last but not least, he tries to go on and, you know, um, 
give off all these different uh, names or whatever, which we covered this. Right. But then he says it doesn't matter to me. That being said, you did a good job and you will be very good in the field such as uh, comp uh, computational uh, linguistics. All right. Which I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what that is, nor do I care. And um, this just evident proof that this person is in the world, man. All right. He's not in the truth. All right. And for you to say something like that, it's, it's almost like you're trying to recruit me into something. But see, the 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 hopefully elect, they're not going to be, number one, despised. OK, they're not going to be tricked. All right. No enchantment could come against them. All right. As it says in Numbers, the 23rd ch uh, chapter, there's no enchantment against the uh, house of Jacob. All right. So basically what it comes down to is um, let's get this last precept here. Then I'm going to close out. Because this didn't have to be too long, but this is Proverbs 21 and 16. It says the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's what you are. You're spiritually dead, man. All right. You will bug out. You are in gross darkness, man. And the scripture says this. OK. Second Corinthians 6 and 16. And what agreement have the temple of the most high? OK, actually, Salakia. I want this one right here. Second Corinthians six and 14, because we are the temple. It starts with us. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. All right. That's why I checked you the first time for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion hath light with darkness. You are in gross darkness. That's why you can't get it. And that's why you keep going back and forth. It's no reason for me to go back and forth with you because it's just going to be a continuation. All right. Of, you know, me uh, saying one thing, you saying something else. We're not going to meet in the middle. OK, and there's a precept in uh, the book of Proverbs where it talks about that there uh, in the end, there's no rest. All right. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Proverbs. Proverbs 29 and 9. All right. It says, if a wise man contended with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. All right. And that goes into what I'm dealing with with you. There's no reason for me to go back and forth with you. There's not going to be any rest because you believe in your heart of hearts that you're right. And of course, I believe in my heart of heart through faith and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that I am right according to what the scripture says. So that's all I want to, uh, you know, say on this. Lord's will, this was edifying us on to the next. Shalom.